Hey, what's up? This is Steve Cunningham. So I was checking out, uh, you know, of course, we all know Rick Beato. Um, just a super, super talented guy, obviously. Just a great musician, real knowledgeable dude. And I uh, was checking out one of his videos, the, a recent one with, with the great guitar player Phil X on there. And uh, there was this lick that Phil does around, I think it's around the nine minute mark or something like that. And, uh, you know, uh, Rick and, and, and Rhett Scholl was in on that too. And, and those guys were floored by this lick, as was you know, me and probably, you know, a few hundred thousand other people. And uh, Phil kind of went through and played it semi slowly. And uh, I, I decided I wanted to kind of go and try to learn this lick, see what he was doing. This is crazy. Crazy, I think Rick said it's sort of like, uh, sounds like a, a combination of a pedal steel and a banjo, um, you know, <laughs> probably if they were played through like a Marshall or something like that, like a little Mahavishnu John McLaughlin in there too. So anyways, I, I kind of went through and worked it out and man, it's, it's pretty freaking hard, at least for me it is. But I decided I wanted to try to kind of get it down and uh, actually, coincidentally, the next day I had a, had a student ask me about it and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do a little video about this. Um, make it maybe a little bit more user-friendly um, than, because uh, uh, I, I think the purpose on Rick's video was not to as an instructional guide or anything. It was just Phil just doing his freaking maniacal kind of shit. So anyways, here we go. Here's the lick. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> it's probably going to be a lot of editing in this video, man, because I'm, I'm certainly going to mess this, uh, this stuff up. But okay, so we're in E. Uh, here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to slow this down and uh, I'm just going to go bit by bit and tell you the notes that are involved. So it starts off with this little part here. It's a E, G, hammer on, and then an A, B flat hammer on. And what we want to do is to go for as much ringage as possible here. Okay, so we have E, G, A, B flat, open B string. Pretty cool. Then the next move goes from the G to a G sharp. B flat to B natural. And then a D on the B string. So we've got. Then the next move is we're going to go from the A on the G string, slide up to the B flat. Hammer on open B to D. Open E string. next move is, is mercifully just, you know, <laughs> something I can relate to, okay? Uh, so, so far we have this. We have... All right, now we go up to a C sharp to a D on the B string, hammer on the E, then play the G. triad there. Then we slide up to this D, hammer on E to G, and then A on the high string. So we're ended up with kind of like a D sus voicing there. Then, thank the Lord, another minor third interval. Okay, so again, from the top we have... Here's where it gets really weird. So from here, we slide up to a G, and then play a G sharp on the B string. Hammer on the B, and then play a C sharp. Phil, dude, I mean, what were you thinking when you came up with this? This is, this is freaking awesome. <laughs> I love the sound of that, man. All right, now, this, this, is, this is the hard part. Then we slide up to an A, play a B flat, hammer on a B, and then a D on top. So that along with the last part. <laughs> then we go up another half step to the B flat, B, D, E. 
awesome stuff. It's like a kind of like a B flat, you know, sharp eleven chord. Um, there's a bunch of ways you could interpret it, or a, an E, you know, E minor, uh, E minor seven flat five uh, uh, arpeggio, you know, partial without the flat third. Um, okay, so let's start from the the halfway point is. Okay, and then, then the one we just did, then another merciful flat third, then we go up to the C sharp, which is an octave from what we did down here. I'm not sorry. And then... Jimmy Page there. Uh, all right, so let's try putting that together. So I'm going to go through the whole thing really uh, fairly slow here. One, two, three, four. Let's see, let's see if we can. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna run this uh, fairly up to speed. I can't do it as fast as Phil as Phil can, but uh, anyways, here's my meager attempt. <laughs> I hope this has some value to somebody out there. <laughs> Take care.